welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Bikini Body Challenge. If it's your first time hearing of the Bikini Body Challenge, make sure you click on the video in my description or you can click up here, I'll put it up on the screen, where you can learn all the information you need to know about the Bikini Body Challenge and you can start from the beginning. It's basically a four week long challenge that is gonna kick your butt and get it into shape. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on that little bell to get notified of my videos so you can be the first ones to try out new workouts when I release them and YouTube actually won't notify you unless you turn on that little bell. So, do it. If you don't already know, Women's Best came out with their own sportswear line and it is the I'm wearing the top from the Power Collection and the bottom from the Move Collection. At the time of release of this video, they are out of stock for a lot of sizes already because you guys are just insane and it's sold out within hours of release. But they are restocking really, really soon. In the meantime, you can ha, get yourself some protein. Protein is going to be your best, best, bestest friend, especially if you're looking to get those booty gains. Of course, you can get your protein from regular foods, but supplementing with protein bars, protein shakes, etc. makes it a lot easier and really more manageable to get your protein intake throughout the day, especially if you're using heavy weights. The raspberry chocolate crunch flavor of the protein bars is like, honestly, the best protein bar I've ever had in my whole entire life, and I have tried them all. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get into the workout. So for today's workout, we are using both the resistance band and the ankle weights. If you don't have this equipment yet, I highly, highly recommend that you get it. The link for all the equipment is in my description. This will definitely, definitely help your booty grow a lot faster and a lot more than not using weights. So go ahead and get your equipment. We have seven exercises that we're doing for one minute each, resting 30 seconds in between. I'm gonna go through the circuit once and then you can repeat the whole circuit two more times for the complete total workout. First exercise, we're gonna be using the ankle weights. So do your warm up, do your glute activations, and then get your ankle weights on so we can do the workout. So we're going to start off with one minute of donkey kicks. We're going to do one side first, rest 30 seconds, then do the next. So as soon as the timer starts, we're going to go ahead and get started. So get in position. And let's go. All the way up, back down. Make sure you really squeeze at the top. And take your time. Don't rush through this exercise. Make sure you go nice and slow. And you feel the burn. And then play around with your posture here because your posture makes a big difference in whether you'll feel it or not. So going a little more forward, you'll feel it in a completely different place than sitting your butt more back. So really play around with it. Flex your foot also. That helps a lot with feeling it in your butt to keep your foot flexed. Kind of like you're pushing up against something. And try to keep the rest of your body as still as you can. So your back should stay Still, and the motion should just be coming from your leg. You should be feeling it in your butt. Oof. All right, now you rest 30 seconds. That's nice. So when you do this one, really focus on trying to squeeze your glute at the top. So go up to the top and try to flex. You know what I mean? Like just flex it. And like I said, play around with the positioning of it. Find the place where you feel it the most, because the more that you feel it, the more you're working it, and the better results you will have. All right, ready? Other side. And go up, back down. Remember, keep your foot flexed. Keep going. All the way up. Oof. Let's go. Come on, we're halfway through. Squeeze at the top. Really feel it. Keep your core tight. Try to keep your tailbone tucked in. Don't arch your back too, too much. Let's go, you're almost there. Let's go. All right, now I've got a 30 second rest. So go ahead and take off your ankle weights actually. 
because we're not going to need them for the next oh my god i feel like i'm racing against the clock <gasps> taking these off Trying to disarm a bomb. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Shoot. Okay, I have to pause it because I wasn't gonna make it. Let's go ahead and put our resistance bands on for the next exercise. Alright, so with the resistance bands, try to put them as close to your knee as possible. The higher the resistance band is, the less resistance there is and the easier it's going to be for you and we don't want that, right? Because we're already here. We're already working out so we might as well make it the most challenging it can be so we can see the most results in the least amount of time. We're trying to be efficient here. So put those babies nice and low, not too low, but somewhere where it's like doable for you. And now we're going to be doing a fire hydrant to a kick out. So ready? Let's go. Go out to the side, kick out, come back in. Boss one's a killer. Out. Back in. Come on, let's go. Keep your hips facing the floor. So when you do the fire hydrant, don't open up your hips to the side. Kind of keep them facing down. Come on, let's go. Keep your core tight. That will help you a lot with your breath. Come on, let's go. Almost there. Oh my gosh. It burns. Dang, should have chosen the easier resistance. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm glad I chose the hard one. This way I'm working. Almost there. Oh my lord. All right, now we're going to go ahead and switch over to the other side. I'm going to do it this way because I will kick the wall if I don't switch over. All right. A few more seconds. Oh my god, how does this happen? All right. Ready? Go up. Kick out, back down. And try to keep your weight distributed evenly between both arms. So try not to like wrap over completely to one side. And remember, keep your hips facing down to the floor as much as you can. Oh my God. Halfway through. Come on, let's go. Keep going. Shoot, this side is so hard for me. Wow, I'm dying. Okay, 10 more seconds. I can't even go higher than this right now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh shoot. Fuck. Screw this resistance band. <sighs> Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and get on up. We're doing one minute of squat hip abductors. My favorite exercise. It actually is my favorite because like you can really feel it, but while I'm doing it, it's not my favorite because you can really feel it. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? All right, ready? Get down and go. Oh my God. All right, this is hard. All right, let's go. Oh my God. Make sure you stay low. Sit your butt back. The time is going by so slow right now. Why so slow? Huh? Come on, let's go. We got this. Thirty more seconds. A little less than thirty. Come on, let's go. Keep pushing yourself. We are trying to get those booties snatched. Okay. Let's go, you're almost done, come on, push yourself. Go harder, go home. We're already at 
home, but just go hard anyway. Last one. Oh man, those are no joke. Oh shoot. I think even without resistance, they're pretty hard, but once you get these bands on, god damn. All right, next up, we can go ahead and take these off. We've got one minute of bouncing some more squats. I'll be doing this holding a weight in my hand. Okay, so ready? Grab the weight in your hand. Make sure your feet are pointed outwards. I'm gonna go down and bounce. So do as many as you can without stopping and then obviously come up for breaks or whatever. I already can take a break. <laughs> All right, let's go, stay low. Keep your tailbone tucked in, your core tight. I think I'm gonna do like five at a time. And back up. Woo, let's go, five more. And come up halfway through. Let's go, 30 more seconds. Whew. Down again. Let's go. Almost done. Oh my gosh, all right. And now I've got the absolute last, last exercise. I'm debating whether to do it with the weight or not. Probably not. Next time. Next time we've got calf raises, so one minute of calf raises. So if you'd like to really grow your calves and get muscle there, do grab a weight in your hand. If not, do a body weight. Go up, back down. Keep going. Go all the way up to the balls of your feet, back down. Squeeze your core. Keep going. This is one of my favorite exercises. <laughs> right now, I'm gonna pull my feet outward for like 10 seconds. Oh, wow. And now, feet pointed inward to work the outer part of our calves. workout. Go ahead and take a few minutes of rest, get some water, regain your strength, take your amino and energy, whatever, and do this two more times to complete the workout. Okay, so if you're watching this on a Monday or on the day that I release this, it's the first workout of week three. Tomorrow's a rest day and then you have the ab and upper body day on Wednesday. Um, if you're watching this on another day, like you're repeating it on Friday or whatever, then yeah, you already know what to do. The workout schedule is in the description. So you go ahead and check it out and I will see you guys next time.